The Emir Sheikh Tamim has been on a diplomatic tour over the last few days. Place Vendome has released a statement after a child was injured on their premises. Meanwhile, Fuerit Beach has become home for 67 new turtle nests. And in sports, a recap of the past weekend's Diamond League in Doha. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has met with Turkish President Recep Erdogan to discuss strategic bilateral relations between the two nations. The Emir's trip to Turkey takes place in the context of ongoing regional and geopolitical issues. He was previously in Tehran meeting Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi. High on the agenda was the revival of the 2015 nuclear accord. Sheikh Tamim also said he hopes Tehran and Doha can significantly further bolster economic ties by next year. A young child is in hospital after falling in Qatar's biggest and newest mall, Place Vendome. Circumstances around the fall are yet to be revealed as authorities continue their investigation. Place Vendome has released a statement saying they're working closely with the authorities to establish what happened. Some parents have criticized the mall saying it is still under construction and not suitable for families with children. Fuerit Beach is witnessing a great development within their nesting operations for the endangered Hawksbill Sea Turtle Protection Project. The Ministry of Environment and Climate Change being represented by the Department of Protection and Wildlife are heading and handling the plan. Due to an acceleration in nesting, 67 turtle nests were transferred to the protected site at Fuerid Beach. More nests are expected to pop up as the marine winter season begins to come to an end. The 2022 Doha Diamond League took place this weekend at Qatar Sports Club and the event featured a couple of surprises. Brazil's Alison Doss beat Olympic silver medalist Rai Benjamin of the US in the men's 200m race, whilst world indoor champion in high jump Wu Sangyok beat co-Olympic gold medalists Mohtaz Barsham and Gianmarco Tamberi to become the first Korean to secure a World Athletics Diamond League title. For the full list of results, head over to our website. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.